right, let's bring in political analyst Ulrich Bruckner, who is in Berlin. Ulrich, these are top officials representing the military and overseeing it. Why would they be saying these things publicly? Isn't it just telegraphing to the world? We're vulnerable. Well, we are, to tell the truth. And this doesn't come as a surprise because this is not just about Germany is not spending enough, which has always been the complaint of our major ally, the United States, reminding Germany that there is a self-finding commitment to spend 2% of the GDP and Germany is far below. But German officials have always said that this is not necessary and we live in different times and territorial conflicts are something of the 20th century. So territorial defense is not a top priority, and we can count on the United States to protect us. This wishful thinking comes to an end, and a year ago, Olaf Scholz announced that there will be an extra fund aside from the budget that will be increased to more than 2% of 100 billion euros, which sounded a lot. But now we learned over the period of the war that we need maybe two times, maybe three times more to get into the shape that people would expect the German armed forces to function. The fact that these top officials are being so explicit in their criticism of the state of the military, and given the timing, is it possible that they're doing this as a way to, to criticize sending so much military aid to Ukraine to tell the public, well, we're doing this, we really need to fix up our own military? No, this is certainly not the message. We are currently in budgetary talks and all the different representatives of the government have very high expectations what actually needs to be done from the future of fighting child poverty to modernizing the infrastructure and addressing digitization. The government promised to address climate change. So there are so many major requests that everyone has to have a loudspeaker and the loudspeaker of the Ministry of Defense and the Ombudswoman of the Armed Forces now have their floor, but it's more like a role play and not a criticism of the government. So given that Germany has you know, a recently elected new chancellor, a new government in place, what is likely to be different now? Now that the parliament has gotten this report and seen so many holes that need to be filled. Well, they are doing already quite a lot. And the chancellor tried to imitate the slow hand style of Angela Merkel, who always said that she's driving a side. Now we see that we have to address a lot of much bigger problems that need a strategic decision and not something where you fix a hole here and address a problem there and moderate conflicts and crises, which was a great achievement of the previous chancellor. But there was no such thing like a long-term planning for something like territorial defense. And this is something that the new government inherited. And it takes more time than just one statement of we have an extra fund of 100 billion and that will be enough. This is a task for a generation or more, especially in times of war in Europe. All right, Ulrich, always good to talk to you. Thanks. Thanks for having me.